Before we proceed further and start using the courses state in our application, let's go ahead and let's design the courses component where we are going to render all the courses of our application. So let's go to VS Code and let's go to the source folder. In there, let's go to app folder. And in here, you will see that we have this courses folder inside which we have files related to courses component. So here, I'll go to courses component.html. Currently there, we are rendering an H3 element. So if I go to our application and there, if I go to this courses link, you will see that that H3 element is being rendered. But now I want to design this courses page. For that, in order to save some time, I have created this courses component.html. So here I have some HTML which I have written for designing the courses component. I'll copy this HTML from here. And again, I'll share all these files with you with the resource link. So let's go back to VS Code. And in here, let me go ahead and let me replace that HTML. So what do we have here? I have a div where I have added some CSS class and we are going to add these CSS classes also in the CSS file. But mainly here we have an H2 element where we are showing this header, all courses, and then we have a div inside which we are displaying an input element and a button. So this is our search area. If I save the changes and if you go to our application, you will see that we have this header all courses and then we have this search input and this search button. Now let's go ahead and let's design this. So for that, I have also written some CSS. I'll copy this CSS. Let's go back to VS Code and let's open courses component.css. And in here, I'm going to add that CSS. You can go through this CSS if you want to see what styles I have added. But for this course, I'm not going to go through the CSS and HTML in detail. So if I save the changes now, and now if we go to our application, this is how the header will look like. So here we have the header all courses, and then we have this search area. So from here, the user should be able to search for a course. Now, I also want to render all the courses in this page. For that, what I'm going to do is, let me close this CSS file. So in here, I want to render all the courses inside a course card. So I'm going to create a new component inside this courses component. And inside that component, we will write the HTML for displaying a course card. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to generate a component and I'm going to call this component course card. Let's press enter. Before that, I want to generate this component inside the courses folder. So first I'll say courses slash and then course card. Let's press enter. So inside this courses folder, now we should have a new folder called course card, as you can see. And inside this course card, we will have all the files related to course card component. Now here, let's go to course card component.html. Currently here we have a paragraph element, but to design the course card, I have written some HTML, which I'm going to copy from here. And I'm going to paste it inside this HTML. So what we are doing is, let me close this terminal for now. So here we are displaying the course name. We are displaying the course image. Now, for now, I'm going to remove this. Okay. So here we want to display the course image. Then here we are displaying the description of the course, the price of the course, and then some action buttons like edit, delete, view, etc. And to design this course card, let's also go ahead and let's copy the CSS. So this is the CSS. I'll copy all the CSS. Let's go back to VS Code and let's go to course card component.css file. And there, let me paste that CSS. Okay, let's close this CSS file and let's go to course card component.ts file. And from there, let's copy the selector. And we are going to use this selector in the courses component.html. So here, inside this course list container, we want to render the course card. If I save the changes 
and if we go to our application now you will see that a course card will look something like this now here all these values we are hard coding but in the next lecture we are going to create some course object and we are going to loop over that course object to display these courses also what i'll do is here let me open google and here let me search for some images okay let's go to images let me download this image so here i'll click on save image as and what i'll do is for now i'll save it inside the pictures folder so here i'll name it as javascript and it is a jpeg file let's also search for angular and maybe let me save this image again okay this is a webp file so i'm not going to use this let's try this one so this is a jpeg file i'm going to name it as angular let's save this okay now let's go to our application and in there we should have a public folder so here we have the assets folder in the assets folder i'm going to create a new folder called images and what i'm going to do is let's go to picture there we have copied two pictures this one and this one let me cut it let's go back to our application and inside this images folder i'm going to paste it okay so i'm not able to paste it here so what i'll do is i'll just drag it and i'll put it inside this images folder and let's go to the course card component now so let me close this ts file let's go to course card component.html and in here for the image for the source let's specify the path so i'll go to assets folder in the assets folder i have created images folder right So we have the images folder and inside that we have angular.jpg so here the course name is javascript course so here i am going to use javascript.jpg that is the image file name let's see if the changes let's go to our application and let's see if the image is getting rendered so you can see the image has been rendered here so currently we have hard coded all these values but in our next lecture we are going to create some course objects and then we are going to render it in this page so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day